Welcome to our Bible Stories channel, where we journey through the rich tapestry of biblical narratives and their connections to ancient civilizations. Today, we embark on a captivating exploration into the origins of the Iranian peoples according to the Bible. Join us as we delve into the historical accounts, linguistic ties, and cultural legacies that intertwine biblical texts with the fascinating heritage of modern-day Iran. Iran, located near Iraq and Assyria, holds many mysteries due to its proximity to the Garden of Eden mentioned in sacred texts. The diverse ethnicities of modern-day Iran and their connections to biblical peoples are subjects of curiosity. In this video, I'll explore not only the language of Iranians, but also their historical and geographical contexts. Please share this video with those interested in delving into the geography of the Middle East through the lens of ancient traditions and biblical narratives on human origins. This is another episode of our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. The Bible, specifically in books like Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Joel, mentions the people who lived in the region corresponding to present-day Iran, including the borders and nearby territories. These peoples, likely descendants of Madai from Genesis 10, are identified as the Medes and Persians. The biblical narrative also suggests the ancient Jews were familiar with the ancestors of the Medo-Persians. Before the arrival of the Persians, the southern part of what is now Iran was inhabited by various Semitic tribes. The original Iranian peoples, known as Aryans, including the Medo Persians, were the early inhabitants. Alongside them or preceding them were the Elamites, mentioned in the Bible as descendants of Shem's son, Elam. These Elamites settled in the region now known as Iran, and while their language is not strictly Semitic, they are considered Semitic people in biblical tradition. The Semitic influence remains evident today in the genetic makeup of modern Iranians, particularly in the southern regions, which were historically known as Elam, the homeland of the Elamites, considered the earliest inhabitants of the area that later became Iran. Elsewhere in the region, predominantly three other groups of similar origin were prominent. The Medes, described in the Bible as Aryans, identified as the original Aryans. Present-day Iranians are thus a blend of these ancient Semitic and Aryan peoples, upholding the cultural legacy of Aryan tribes. It's essential to recognize that the Medo-Persian Empire and Aryan peoples were not a singular entity, but a collective of related groups spanning modern-day Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and other parts of the Middle East. They share a common genetic and cultural heritage rooted in the ancient Median ancestry known as Aryans. Beyond the Medes, the inhabitants of Iran included descendants of Aryans or Medes. The Medes, descendants of the ancient Aryans, are classified as one of the Japhetic peoples, tracing their lineage back to Madai, one of Japheth's sons, as per biblical tradition, often distinguished by lighter skin and eyes. Aryan society was structured on a caste system, with Brahmins, priests at the top, followed by Kshatriyas, warriors, Vaishyas, traders and farmers, and Shudras, manual laborers. This caste hierarchy was integral to their social and religious organization. Religiously, ancient Aryans were polytheistic, venerating numerous pagan deities, many found in Vedic texts. Fire worship was central to their rituals, which often included sacrificial offerings to the gods. Their language, Vedic Sanskrit, served as the foundation for the Vedas and other religious and literary texts of ancient India, representing one of the oldest documented Indo-Iranian languages. Another prominent group in ancient Iran is the Persian people, who gained 
considerable renown. Present-day Iranians often identify with this designation, preferring it over other terms. Alongside the Persians were the Medes, also known as Parthians, forming significant tribal groups in both ancient and contemporary Iran. These Aryan or Iranian tribes spoke related languages, all classified within the broader Indo-European or Japhetic language family. The Book of Daniel references the Persian and Medo-Persian peoples when a mysterious hand appears in chapter 5, interpreted as a divine message deciphered solely by the prophet Daniel. The primary language in Iran today is Persian, known as Farsi, closely resembling the script found in Daniel's writings. Daniel's translation of the Babylonian inscription in Aramaic foretold the kingdom's division and transfer to the Medes and Persians. Modern Iranians are descendants of diverse ethnic backgrounds, including those tracing lineage to Madai, son of Japheth, as mentioned in ancient traditions like the Book of Jubilees. According to this tradition, Madai, father of the Medes and Persians, married into Shem's lineage, resulting in the birth of these peoples. Historical mixing between Elamites, Semites, and Medo Persian groups further shaped the population of Iran. Consequently, Iranians exhibit a spectrum of physical traits, from European like features such as light eyes and fair skin to Semitic characteristics akin to those found in other Middle Eastern populations. Persians, considered of Iranian descent and descendants of Madai and Japheth, often share physical resemblances with Europeans. Moreover, the Persian language shares linguistic similarities with Germanic languages like English. For instance, the Persian word for mother is Madar, akin to the English term, and father in Persian is similar to Pedar in Old Persian. These are just a few examples of linguistic similarities between Persian and English both belonging to the Germanic language family. Another interesting connection is the Persian word for brother, which is Baradar, closely resembling the English term of Germanic origin. These linguistic connections highlight the broader Indo-European relationship between Persian and other languages, particularly English. Beyond these linguistic affinities, the ethnic diversity of Iran reflects historical influences, notably from the Elamite peoples, contributing to a rich genetic mix, especially in southern Iran. Iranian tribes primarily trace their origins to Japhetic and Medo-Persian descent, with additional Semitic influences from the Elamites. This video aims to delve into the intricate ethnic, linguistic, and historical origins of Iran and its people. Feel free to share in the comments any suggestions about other fascinating civilizations whose origins spark your curiosity. Exploring these roots, languages, and cultures is the central theme of this channel, and I look forward to bringing more videos for our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. As we conclude this captivating exploration into the origins of the Iranian peoples according to biblical narratives, we invite you to reflect on the profound connections between scripture and the diverse tapestry of human history. Our journey today has unveiled the intricate interplay of ancient civilizations, linguistic affinities, and cultural legacies that continue to shape the identity of modern-day Iran. We hope this video has inspired you to delve deeper into the biblical accounts mentioned in books like Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah and Joel, shedding light on the peoples who inhabited the region corresponding to present-day Iran, particularly the Medes, Persians, and Elamites. These narratives not only offer historical insights, but also foster a deeper appreciation for the intricate web of human heritage woven throughout the ages. To continue exploring the enthralling intersections between Scripture and the world's diverse cultures, we encourage you to subscribe to our Bible Stories channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our upcoming episodes that unravel the mysteries of ancient civilizations through the lens of biblical texts. 
If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by leaving a like and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback and engagement fuel our passion for uncovering the hidden gems of biblical history. Moreover, we invite you to share this enlightening video with your church group, family and friends. Let's spread the knowledge and spark meaningful discussions about the profound connections between faith, history and culture. Together, let's embark on a transformative journey through the annals of biblical stories. Subscribe, like, comment and share. Your participation enriches our community and fosters a deeper understanding of the timeless narratives that continue to resonate with us today. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening expedition. We look forward to welcoming you to future episodes of The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. Stay tuned and may you continue to be inspired by the timeless wisdom encapsulated in sacred scripture.